What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Think About It. I'm your host, Dan Martin, with me as always. Dear, today on Think About It, we're talking about parasites. Think about it. Think about it. So, Evie, parasites, ticks, fleas. She's not fond of them. But if you think about it, Society has given a really bad rap to parasites. And after breaking them down in my true break down the bullshit fashion, check out my video link here if you haven't seen it already. I've come to the realization that parasites are not only amazing creatures, but they're really better than us. I was gonna say in a lot of ways, but I just think that's it, just better than us. Let me explain. Some of the only living organisms that have been around since the dawn of time, parasites are better than herbivores, they're better than carnivores, um, they're better than omnivores, because at least they don't kill anything. They don't hurt anything. It's not like they're eating anyone's babies, apples, strawberries. They're not cutting off and eating anybody's limbs, chicken wings, lettuce, kale. Yeah, they're not vicious. They're not wiping out entire species of animals or waging world wars like we do. They're not promoting starving children in Africa or shooting people in the streets. They only eat what they need and they want and need that animal to continue uh, not only living but thriving and being healthy so that they continue to have a food source. Parasites really got a bad rap and in the end, strictly on eating habits, they're a lot better than vegetarians or um, meat eaters. At least they're not killing anything by eating it and causing pain by eating something. And before you say that vegetables and plants and, and whatnot don't feel any pain, I need to remind you that we don't know anything about that stuff. In 20 years from now, they're going to come and say, oh, we have better ways of, of testing things and, and seeing things and investigating things. And they just learn a lot of things that they didn't know. We've come a long ways in the last 20 years from knowing stuff. I'm not willing to put all my uh, chips on the table saying that plants don't feel pain. I'm not willing to risk something suffering because of my ignorance. So for the sake of um, just what if, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that they feel. Just because they don't feel like we feel or they don't have the same receptors as we feel, that's pretty egotistical to assume that nothing else feels because they don't feel like we do. Just like we said that nothing else talks or communicates because they don't talk or communicate like we do. That, uh, nothing else has a soul because they don't, that are not human. Again, and as always, do not believe anything you're told. Think for yourself, question everything, and stop sensing enslavement. Hit the subscription and like button below if you like what me and Evie are doing. Want to be part of creating a new and better society with Evie and me? Join our new and growing eco-village. For more information, add me on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description below.